My name is Christelle. Um, I've been in Florida for over almost 20 years. Um, I was originally raised in the Caribbean. My first language is French. Um, I graduated college in 2012 with a bachelor in psychology. And um, in 2014, I graduated with a master's in psychology. Never worked in psychology, went straight into teaching. I taught middle school for eight years. I taught language arts in middle school. Um, and a friend of mine, who was also a teacher, did Saidio and she told me about it. And after I had my baby, I decided to do it. And I did it right when, we spoke about it right when um, a new batch was starting. So without even asking questions, I didn't even do the interview with the advisor. I enrolled for Saidio and studied the program. And I graduated after seven months and got my first job, my first job two months later. And since then I've been working as a automation test engineer. My friend just told me about it because they had they just changed the rules for teaching salary in Florida a couple of years ago where you will be making the same salary for 15 years. So we were looking for other avenues, which is one of the reasons why a lot of teachers are leaving the teaching field. And when she found Saidio, initially I have to tell you, I was actually thinking about going to the into PA program. I don't want you to do physician assistant and become a physician. And I was actually taking the science classes. I took the test, passed the entrance exam and everything. And when she told me about it, I was like, you know what, plan B. Let me do Saidio as a plan B just in case I don't get into um, the PA program. And I actually ended up never applying for the PA program. I just decided to do Saidio and I trusted the process. Well, I started working when I was 18, as soon as I graduated high school. My first job was at CVS Pharmacy and I stayed there until I graduated um, college in 2012. Um, I studied college here in Miami at Miami Dade College and two years later I moved to Georgia um, and I went to Kennesaw State where I graduated with my bachelor's um, two years later, well probably three years later and from that job I, I, had, that, I had that job in Miami and I transferred it to um, Georgia. So I never switched up. So I worked for CVS for five years. The whole time I was in college, I worked for CVS. Then from CVS, um, I found my first job after graduation here in Miami. I worked um, as a financial, not a, as a admission counselor for a school. And I did that for a year and a half, but I didn't like it. I went into teaching. I taught at a maximum security prison where I taught GD classes for about a year and a half until I started teaching um, middle school and I taught middle school from 2015 to today. My real passion is science. I love the medical field. But with life, different things happen in life and I ended up not doing it. And um, teaching my whole family, my grandma, my mom, at some point in their life were teachers. My grandma was a lifelong teacher. My mom was a teacher for a part of her life. So I think it's my brother's a teacher and he's actually attending Sidio too. So my brother actually um, is just completed the Sidio program. And so teaching is in my family. That's the only reason why, I, I mean, I went into teaching. But it's not something that I would do, that's not something I did lifelong. However, if given the opportunity to, for example, I know what it means to move in this country and not speak English. So I wouldn't mind being in a field where I can teach what I learned from Saidio or even doing a side job where I'm teaching English to um, people who, are, who have just moved here or wh whose English is limited. So that's basically where I would stop. But I've grown a love and I've grown a passion for the IT department. Working as an automation tester, I actually enjoy what I'm doing. Because 
I love doing puzzles and I see being a tester like a puzzle because you're trying to figure out if it work, if it works or if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, you start over and it's, it actually, I can sit in front of the computer and do my work and not be bored, which is amazing. As a new mom, it was very challenging to be able to do the classes with a one-year-old at home. My husband was deployed, so he wasn't here. Um, so I was basically mom and dad. So sometimes I would be in class and he would be crying in the next room and I had to leave class and go find out what was wrong and I would, I would miss a part of the class. And I would have to wait until the next day to watch the recording of what I missed. So it was, I, I can't tell you how many times I've called my friend and cried and cried and cried because I told myself I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna be able to make it. I was not going to make it because it was challenging. As there are classes that I still review from side you to this, this day to make sure that I'm basically keeping everything fresh. And with, honestly, with a child, it's, I did it with one, it was challenging. So I can't even tell you for parents who are probably doing it with more than one kid. It was very, very challenging. I practiced as much as I could. I met very often. I was at every team meetings, alumni mentor meetings, mentor meetings. And if I was missing anything, I would let my mentor know, hey, I'm missing this. Can I meet with you to make sure that I can catch up with whatever you guys did? And my team was very, very, my group was very um, supportive. So we practice interviews almost every day. Almost every day, I would put baby to sleep at nine, 9.30, I would, I would be back in front of the computer doing practicing interviews. And that's basically how, what got me through. That's what got me through. And I listened to other students' interviews as well to be able, because that's how I learned. If I read only, I can't, I'm not gonna retain anything. So I had to make sure that I was watching interviews and see how people were responding to the questions so that I can learn how to do it as, as well. And that's basically how I was able to, I guess, get a job because that's what I used to get a job. I am still in touch with my classmates or some of them. Some of them are not really active in the group. So, but however, a couple, a few of us, we have each other's phone number and we'll check on each other every now and then. So um, I periodically, I, I talk about two, I've talked about four of them on a, probably on a once a week or once every two weeks. We check on each other, making sure the job is going well or the job search is going well. If you have an interview, let me know how I can help you. So we still keep in touch. Sideo provides you with everything. You have the recordings, you have the, you have the notes, you have the PowerPoints, you have the ex um, exercises, you have the group meetings, you have the alumni meetings, you have the mentor meetings. You have everything that could help you to um, basically success in the program. When I hit the market, my husband had been supporting us for two years. I had not been working for two years because I went on maternity leave a week before I gave birth to my son. And by the time a year and a half hit, our saving was going low. And I was like, I need to get a job. I need to get a job. I need to get a job. Everything was going up, COVID, Rent went up about for five hundred dollars. Electricity went up, water went up, and everything is going up. Still got car payments. Now we have a baby to take care of. So I was in a rush to get a job, and I was applying to. When I first got on the market, I was applying to between five hundred jobs, almost uh, probably over fifteen hundred jobs a week. I was applying, I was, I was making a list of all the jobs I was applying for. My email had over 2,000 emails. And of course, in the beginning, you're getting a lot of rejections. Rejections, rejections, and I did get a lot of interviews. And one thing I made sure to do is I was very friendly in my interviews. My interview, my first interview sucked. But after that, I got in the, I got in the use of basically treating the interviewer as my friend. So even making jokes, asking the interviewer about their personal life and telling them about my personal life. 
well, the personal life I had to create first IDO. And that made a that made a big difference. And I was on the market for I got my first, my, I got my offer. I got one offer and I got that offer the first week of March. I was on the market for a month and a half. And I got my offer the first week of March and started working at the end of March. I accepted the position because I needed a job as soon as possible. However, I am open to um, better salary options, opportunities, and I'm making more than double what I used to make as a teacher. So it should relieve a lot of the, it should relieve a lot of the stress that we had, and it, it does. However, now that we have an extra mouth to feed, it's, and then everything going up is as if you basically now made 100K is as well maybe 50K because everything is going up. I'm not stressed. I'm able to provide anything I want for my son. We were able to travel. We already went on one trip. Um, we are able to start rebuilding our savings. We want to buy a house. So we, with the market right now, we, we taking a pause, but we still are able to look in that if we were to fall into an option, it wouldn't be a no, we can't. So it makes a big difference for us.